Hello, this is Mike Kittner here from 360 Heroes, and we're going to talk about our creating our first 360 video project using the 360 Cam Man. Uh, before we start that, what I want you to do is um, try to get the 32 gig extreme cards, um, which work have worked very, very well for all of our projects, and we're using the Hero 3 Black Pluses. And then when you get your cards, I want you to make sure that you number them like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so that we have everything all uh, labeled up correctly. Uh, and then we can match these cards into the holders um, onto the camera. So for this first example that we're going to do is we're going to be using the H3 Pro 6 model, and we're going to take a series of takes. But before we do that, the first thing we want to do is format these new cards. Now when you go to run this for the first time, there's a couple settings that actually happens. And when we go to look at the card uh, on our system the very first time, you're going to notice that the card actually comes up and it's not labeled. So if we take a look at our system real quick and we look down here, here is our removable card. So let's select the drive that we're going to format. And what I've done is I've loaded one of my uh, files into my drive L drive. And when we do that, it's saying, wait a minute, drive L doesn't match the proper card format. The proper card format, when it gets done, is going to call the 360. This is the head number, because you could have multiple heads, uh, multiple GoPro heads on a shoot. And this is the camera number. So when it goes to uh, analyze this, it's telling you that it doesn't match the proper format. Now, because we want to make sure that you have the correct drive, um, we force you to do, I agree that this is the correct drive that I'm going to be using. And then I also type in, I agree here. When I do, I can now start formatting my cards. So we'll click Format Card. And again, it's warning you that there's the labeling system is not there, and we're going to create one. So again, it's it's warning here again because if you accidentally put in the wrong card, we want to make sure that you do not uh, override it. So the loaded drive is blank. We're looking for this drive, and now we're going to format this drive the first time. And it's telling you that, hey, again, this drive does not match the format. This is what you should be. Um, and this is what's installed. We were looking for this, but what's in there is blank. So again, this is because we're using a new card. Now we'll actually let it format. And notice it's relabeled that card correctly. And now when I bring up my uh, Windows Explorer, I look, now here's my drive L, and it's now properly named. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave that there for a second, so you can see uh, both drives. And let's put in our second card. So we're going to pull the first card out. As soon as I do that, it recognizes that it's no longer in the system. And we're now going to install the second card. Again, when we do that, it's saying, well, wait a minute. This doesn't match our format. The drive that you entered was this drive. So it was looking for this card. And when we get into the automation process, the next time we go to do this, it actually flies right through here. But again, because we have brand new cards, um, we need to label these correctly. So we're going to format the drive. And it's formatted the drive. And then if you take a look down here, um, it uh, will name these file drives uh, correctly. Okay, so now let's put in our third card. And again, once we just label each one of these. And we'll let it format the card. And we'll get them all labeled correctly. All right. Label 
create set. And what I would do is if you have multiple sets or multiple heads um, when you're doing this work, um, I'd highly recommend that you buy sets of cards for each set, uh, just so you don't get them confused. But this will help you keep everything uh, in track uh, when you do it this way. Again, this is our new one. And we're now all set. So if I go over here and I just do a refresh, okay, here's my sixth card uh, that we just finished. And that's pretty much it. So that's formatting the drives um, from scratch uh, the first time. Now let me take you through the process of formatting existing cards uh, that we've already used from a previous shoot and we want to start all over to go out and shoot more 360 video. Here's the steps for that. So it wants us to, we'll say, format the drive. It's looking for us to load a card. It automatically, it says it's looking for card one, uh, and it actually noticed the card one. Now, you can hit format every time, or if you click this tag on here, auto start on drive load, if it finds the card that it's looking for automatically, it'll just let you shuffle the disc automatically. So the first time I go to do this, it formats it. And now it's looking for the second drive. So we're looking at insert card two of six. And we'll now pull card one, put in card two. And notice it says it's looking for card two and it, the card two that you have loaded. So if we hit auto, it'll automatically do this for us so that as we go through each one of the cycles, it's saying insert card three, I pull card two, put card three in, and it automatically cycles through the whole process automatically for you. So it want, now wants me put into card four. Formats card four, pull that out. Now let's put in card five. And now we'll put in our last card, number six. And we're all set. So uh, as you can see, the second time through, once the system knows what the card number is by the labels, uh, the process goes much quicker. Okay, so that was formatting the cards, uh, step one.